Hello, everybody. Um, to those you know who don't know, uh, my name is Jeff. I'm a core module on IRC. Um, been with Fedora QA for about three years now, um, and I thought that this talk would be good um, to kind of jumpstart anybody who hasn't messed with testing anything. Um, I know you're at Flock, so you probably have a good idea about what Fedora is, what it composes. So a lot of this we will gloss over. And if we get to the end, um, I think we could just have a question and answer, maybe. Or, yes, we can. Uh, yes, we can. And then Supreth. So yeah, hello uh, all. So my name is Supreth, and uh, I'm not a full-time QB for Fedora. I work for Red Hat uh, since last five years, and uh, Fedora, I just participate. I'm just working on it since last, I think, Fedora 27. And uh, so my uh, contribution to this was uh, to, I mean, contribution as in my association with Fedora is like, I participate in test days, uh, I mean, upload the results, file bugs, uh, talk to people, uh, get the ways to test, update the wikis, and follow the process. So, uh, so before we uh, start, how many in the room are uh, QE who work with testing, <coughs> fantastic, and who are not, I mean, I, there are two, two to three people. Uh, anyone who uh, wants to do the QE and has not done anything yet in Fedora, you have not done? Okay, okay, good, I mean, so, uh, so to get started, yeah. Sure. We've got a general out, outline of what we're going to talk about. Um, It'll be fairly high level. Um, there will be some ticks and tips and tricks um, that uh, that I've found valuable and that Saprith has found valuable. Um, the technical side, human side, and then, like I said, if we get through it quick, we'll just jump to some questions. Um, so, as far as actually testing goes, you need two things: a, a Fedora account and a Bugzilla account. Does anybody here not have a Bugzilla account? Or a, a Fedora account for that matter, but you're at Flock, so. <laughs> okay. Um, so this, this is why we test, ultimately to make a, a, a better end product. Um, this, this is from uh, the Fedora 29 release, these blurbs I found on Reddit. Um, Good, great job, Fedora, you guys are amazing. Keep up good work, okay? Great things have really come around. A bug that was affecting like YAM was fixed last week, and so the laptop I upgraded uh, isn't having issues anymore. So helped somebody there through testing. Um, I upgraded today, and it seems very solid. This is my favorite. I want to switch from Ubuntu 18.04 to Fedora 29. I'm going places. Um, so what is Compose? I imagine we all have an idea, but it's a compilation of packages that are pushed together into a bootable image. Um, ideally, it happens each day. It's rawhide until it is branched uh, into the next numbered Fedora release. And with each Compose um, comes an opportunity for testing. Testing that Compose, testing those packages that have been rolled together. Um, and that, that's where uh, validation testing comes in. Uh, I think this might be you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so four key things. Um, uh, validation testing, uh, testing each compose. Uh, reporting bugs using Bugzilla. Uh, updates testing, uh, testing individual updates and uh, test days. So validation testing, um, like I said, is testing a certain compose, whether it be rawhide, an individual compose uh, that happens each day, or um, a numbered compose uh, on a milestone like beta or final. Um, and we test each compose to meet the uh, release criteria, which are a, a set of guidelines that are pre-set up um, 
that say uh, for the beta release uh, there must not be these kind of bugs or these kind of errors and for the final release there shouldn't be these kinds um, and so that is how we determine if something is um, a, a bug worth blocking the release on uh, is whether or not it violates the release criteria which makes it um, a lot easier when you get towards the end or towards um, the, the hard dates uh, to pick whether or not we can continue with this release uh, because you, you have the criteria to go on um, and uh, oh you can so the test matrices is where we store all the data it's a wiki page um, for now uh, and when you test, you, you, can, you go to the test matrix, matrix and you can um, fill out what you tested. I kind of want to, would like to show you that. Uh, has anybody not seen it, the, the Fedora test matrix? Yeah, okay, let's see. Um, let me see if I can do this. Has anyone else had trouble with the network, or is it just me? We are in a technical conference. It's common from houses. So it's a technical conference, therefore the Wi-Fi will not work. So I found the only one who didn't see the test matrix is fine. Okay. Can pass you the links. Yeah, uh, we will put this on to. Uh, I think we could do that. Can we? Oh, here we go. Okay. You can bring it. I saw other test matrices. So, for example, this is the the latest uh, test matrix page. Um, the last compose was the August second. Yeah, so it's a little old. Um, but here you can find what needs to be tested and um, on which release, the, the base, the server, the cloud, the desktop. And so here's links to all of those images. You can find the, the x86 64-bit image here for all of these on the left, as well as um, ARM 6432, um, PowerPC and S390X, um, but it, this is a good example of um, what a pass test looks like, uh, what a failed test looks like, what a warning looks like. Um, the robot means it's an automated test. Um, and then each of these links will link you to a bug or a comment. Uh, so you can see here that Coconut, the bot, had a failure here, uh, the size of the workstation live image, which uh, that's what this test is here, was uh, larger than, what is that, 20 gig, 2 gigs. Is this page automatically generated? Yes, yes, and it's generated with each release. Um, each compose. Each compose. Yeah, yeah, from, from the, the template that's probably, I don't know where it's hosted. Um, but so say you want to test something, uh, you'd come here and, uh, oh yeah, let's, let's pick this one. So this, these are test cases uh, under the storage devices category. Um, the milestone that this test must pass 
is final. So in order for us to ship final, somebody has to test this and say that it passed. Ideally on uh, final, but for some things, specifically this FCOE case, um, if it has been tested fairly recently, that's good enough. So that, that does lead me to something else. If anybody here has fiber channel over Ethernet hardware and you'd like to donate some time testing, that would be great because I, I think that gets tested once or twice each release. So, uh, but anyway, so you'd pick what you'd want to do and uh, you can load it. It gives you a description of what the test is, uh, how to set up for the test, how to actually test it, and the expected results that you should see. And assuming that that all uh, passes, then you can um, mark the test uh, as passed or failed or, or whatever. Do you so want to does it anything? mean anyone has the right to edit this table and uh, Anyone with a, f a Fedora account, actually, yeah, actually, I think anybody can try. I'm not logged in. We can try it. I, I'm, I'm going to try it here without being logged in. Yeah, so I guess anybody can, okay. <laughs> which might be something to think about in the future. I don't know. So, but I think it's, it's a kind of wiki, so you see in the history who would make yeah. Right, you would. It was an issue in part, so Just keep going. I think in this case, he entered his name, uh, school and then you can see code module, but let's say I'm running through a proxy and I'm editing mm -hmm. and I'm not printing my name. I mean, it's, we've been doing it this way for years and years. If it becomes a problem, we'll deal with them to tell them. Our grandfather do this. My sister <laughs> was <laughs> also. <laughs> So then another way of testing is uh, by reporting bugs that you find. Uh, has anyone not seen Bugzilla? Get out. <laughs> 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 so it, you, you've all seen Bugzilla. You all know that that's where we track bugs. Um, I, I won't go into it. Maybe he wants to see it. it does anyone want to see it? No. Yes, I've seen it. it, it, it Do you? I think later. I think better to do yeah, it. Is, uh, just, uh, just, uh, no, uh, okay. Um, Another way to help contribute, it's uh, not testing, but um, is uh, by attending the blocker bugs meeting. So come maybe a month before uh, the branch point, we will start to have um, blocker bug meetings where we discuss bugs that have been um, marked as blockers or vi violating the release criteria from the first slide. Um, and we will all vote on whether we think that it violates the criteria or not. And um, that is where we would determine if it actually is a blocker uh, or if it's a, a freeze exception. Um, and that's a good way to contribute and a good way to, to initially get started um, because all it takes is a knowledge of, uh, of the individual bug, um, which you can find uh, on Bugzilla and you just read through it and you read the uh, release criteria and 
you make a judgment call whether or not you think that it violates the criteria or not and be prepared to back it up because sometimes it gets passionate and uh, if you can do that then um, that's a good way to contribute another way to contribute is to act as the secretary in those meetings where um, afterwards there could be anywhere from one to Tim how long was that meeting that you had that set the precedent for um, If you if you have that will, that, that will never happen again. <laughs> how many bugs was were did you guys go over? But a lot a, a lot or either that or there's a lot of discussion on both. It's probably both. Yeah. So you can have a lot of bugs or a few bugs, but um, the secretary will go through all the bugs afterwards and mark. Um, whether they were accepted or denied, um, and uh, a brief blurb. And that's another good way to just contribute. If you want to get involved and get your name out there, that would be a good way to go. Um, uh, the third way to, to really contribute um, is through updates testing, um, which is testing individual packages that are in the updates testing repository. Um, uh, you can permanently enable the updates testing repo, and when you're full-time QE, that's that's what I do personally. Is I, I permanently enable it, DNF update, and then um, I run through uh, Fedora Isa Karma. Whoops. Um, here's how you can enable it. But uh, Fedora Easy Karma is a tool that we have um, that can tell uh, which packages you have installed versus um, uh, what is in the uh, updates testing repo. And so you, you update, you test it, and then you can report using this, uh, Fedora Easy Karma. And um, yeah, that's key. Just a config. Has anybody not seen Fedora Easy Karma? Let me show you that, just so you have an idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that doesn't matter if there is no network. Just a question. Does it mean it somehow automatically uh, fills in the karma in body? Yes, yeah. Well, not automatically. Right. Basically, it, it figures out what you have installed on your system that's not updates testing, and then it will iteratively go through and prompt you for feedback. Prompt for feedback. Okay. Yeah. Looks like it might work. It's a lot easier than going to Bodhi yeah, yeah, and it's, it's doing it manually. Manually. yeah. <laughs> okay, well, don't look at that because. <laughs> you, you need to update this karma first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's an old version. Is it did. Python? Did we update? Uh, uh, DNF updates for AC Karma should be enough. Uh, th there is a new repo there it is. It's got a little. <laughs> the last seven minutes I think we'll come back to this we'll let it do its thing of course it disconnects what the heck okay 
so regarding test days, I think uh, we have the official pages. Uh, we usually uh, get the announcements for upcoming test days. Uh, you test for the kernel, you test for updates, upgrades, and uh, so if won't open I don't know I think it is it's just hidden it's behind the terminal so if you yeah maybe not, mm, not this one it's not open <sighs> originally um, super th had wanted to do a talk like this that was 50 minutes long and I had said I will do this talk uh, and it's 25 minutes long and then when it came around to it, Supra's talk was not selected, but mine was, so we decided to collaborate and each take half of, you know, uh, the 25 minutes. So you we had a lot time. more that we had to cram. You're, you're at time. What? You're at time. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, uh, so we have uh, Fedora 31 upcoming, and uh, so the kernel test day was announced recently. We just go to the wiki page, follow the steps, and do the testing. Uh, I've already started. And uh, so we have Sumantro here who does the announcements usually. So apart from test days, I think, uh, so do you want to speak? Do we go to the end? And when I said time, as in the time slot is complete. Yeah. Right. Thank you. And well, thank this, you. this is the checklist for you to be uh, sure. getting started with your Fedora QE. Make sure you have all these things and um, we have this Fedora, uh, IRC uh, list channels for uh, Fedora QA, Fedora, you just join and search for people. You can uh, search core module or Suprit uh, over the channels. We are there to help. We have Sumantro here. And uh, for the mailing list, you can join test at the rate Fedora project.org. For any questions, you can put over there. We know we're over time. But <laughs> Thank you. Any questions we can take if we have? We could show you that here if, if you're interested. If, if, is the if question, what is the selection of uh, 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 platforms for testing? Because, for example, uh, several times in past half an year, uh, I uh, uh, launched an EC2 machine from the latest Fedora uh, Compose, and it simply didn't boot. So I was, uh, let's say, uh, concerned how this is working that uh, uh, there are AMI images for EC2 instances like provided by uh, Fedora team and uh, these uh, images like uh, not so uh, rarely are uh, even not able to do so but if we are out of time <laughs> EC2 is a blocking um, it's not so that's why. I, I even didn't see it on, on, the, on that list. So. If it doesn't, if it's on the on the list, it doesn't mean that it's blocking. So there are um, some uh, some images are blocking. That means that if they don't work, you can release it. But there are like. For example, it's oh. there. You can test it. It's good. It would be nice if someone would. But uh, it's not really blocking, so it's not as important for the Fedora QA because the it takes a lot of time to test all the stuff which is uh, blocking and which is really needed to have tested. So there is a lot of things not tested. I think that I'm not sure if that one you mentioned is blocking, I don't think so, but it could happen, and it, maybe it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. If, if it doesn't work, then it's a problem, yes. Was it a rawhide um, yeah, and compose? Yeah, depends on when you tried it, like if it's early in, uh, in the process, in the release, then it could happen that it doesn't boot for a lot of reasons, because there are some new packages which 
should shouldn't happen. Yeah, mostly. <laughs> I think, I think it was dead already, so uh, it seems there is no testing for this, like, uh, it was, it, it was uh, uh, easy, easy to get complicated for a lot of different reasons. Uh, it's it's I'm not tested. Not there, are, there are some I'm technologies just trying we should to really explain. Mm -hmm. I mean, it gets, it gets complicated because the, there have been issues in the past with getting the images in a place where we can understand and define them, mm -hmm. and then who's going to pay for the testing on Amazon, mm -hmm. and Up the test days page if you want to go through it. Say that again. Could you expand the Amazon section? What's written there? Yeah. See, get an ID as account. You know. These, these, these are blocking. Not it. I like because, for example, when we are testing the server. I don't understand to all the stuff, so it would be great if the server seek would be more uh, interested in have tested the uh, compost. So it's on them mostly. We try as best as we can, but uh, they are the ones who understand to that those technology technologies. It's the same with the AES, for example. Easy to so. If you find out that it's not working, so yeah, it's good to, it's good to report it. You this know, is right where you reported from right the base the, startup, right the there. Uh, if you weren't able to, and uh, ideally create box and mark as a box. Yeah, yeah. Box. And and that's about it. Yeah, that's a pretty good report. Uh, people, uh, uh, like job. Uh, at least you show the box page. Or, or not? It, it seemed like every. Oh. Should we, um, should we, should yeah. we, it depends on if you're trying to make the tour that you may have already done. I think it's tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. tomorrow and tomorrow. Saturday. Uh, tomorrow or tomorrow. Well, there's a walking tour tonight. I think That's Saturday. Is it? Oh, Saturday. Okay. Saturday. 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 There's some different languages and yeah. Yeah. Karaoke. 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 Karaoke, right. Why don't you talk about it? We've got the people here. They're interested. Okay. You want to? Sure. Okay. Any other questions, or uh, do we want to see the Bugzilla um, page? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well then, let's call it call it a day.